Hi folks, Matthew here with Disaster Area Designs doing another quick tips video. Today's episode using a DMC Gen 3 with a USB mini pedal. The DMC Gen 3 series all have this mini USB. This is a change from the old DMCs, the Gen 2 that have do, 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 the full size USB A port here. Um, one of the things that we're able to do with the uh, more powerful 32-bit processor on the Gen 3s is control USB devices natively. So without the need of a, a ghost converter or an add-on hardware board like we used to have to do. Um, so in order to make this work, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a DMC Gen 3. Um, this works with the 3XL, the 4, the DMC 6, the DMC 8, and the new DPC 5 Gen 3. They can all support this. Um, you're going to need a USB cable. Uh, one end of it needs to be suitable for uh, the device that you're trying to control. In the case of this Zoom, it's a USB mini B here, so we'll go ahead and plug that in. And the other end should be probably USB A, which is this rectangular guy. You're going to need a USB A to mini B host adapter cable. We sell these on our website and they're tested and guaranteed to work. Uh, there are others out there. You're welcome to try them uh, at your own risk but we do test all these, every single one of them that we sell. So um, just plug this guy in here. So you've essentially got a cable that's USB uh, mini B on both ends. The end that has the adapter like this needs to plug into the DMC. So plug these guys in. And the other thing to bear in mind is that the power supply for the USB device, in this case the Zoom, um, is being fed by the power supply of the DMC Gen 3. So the adapter that you use to power this needs to have enough push, enough current to supply the DMC itself and the USB device. So uh, a normal 100 milliamp output on your pedal power 2 is probably not going to be sufficient. If you plug this in and the, the zoom device keeps resetting, the display blinks, it doesn't respond properly. It's probably not receiving enough current. Um, there are two ways around this. You use a higher output power supply or power this guy separately on its own isolated power supply. If you do that, then you can usually get away with 100 milliamp outputs for both of these, standard outputs for both of these. Um, we've got a high output power supply that we're gonna plug in here. Um, you will have to do a couple things in the setup to make this work. So you see the zoom is powered on. So hold these guys when you see Gen 3 to enter in the setup menu. Um, by default, if you go to the left here, by default, the USB mode on these guys is set to host, which is what we need. So you can leave that alone. And then you have to go to your A device, Dev A, and you need to set this to uh, Zoom multi stomp. The quickest way to get there is to go left, a few clicks here. We'll get through all these guys. Do, do, do. Multi jack amplifier, MIDI notes, and multi stomp. So it should say zoom and multi stomp. When you have that all set up, you can hold this guy to save and you should be ready to go. Now, um, the way this works, there's only a couple things that are actually supported on this. Um, we can change presets. As you can see, we're changing presets here. And if you do this, you can actually see the number of the preset instead of um, just the, the screen. Um, I'm sorry, let me show you how I did that. Um, if you prefer the zoom to display the number in the name of the preset, um, you can tap the center button to get into the memory screen. And then instead of selecting the A or B, um, you just tap the foot switch one time and it'll display the memory. Um, and everything will still work, but it'll show the the name and the uh, the preset number. This goes away when you power off, so you'll have to do this every time. There's no way to make the Zoom save this, unfortunately. Um, the only other thing that's supported on the Zoom is uh, activating the tuner. So if you have a uh, DMC4 or you plug in a um, an external foot switch to this guy or you're using a DPC5, 
you can access the tuner in this. It does not support tap tempo, MIDI clock, any individual bypassing of effects in the chain. All it supports is what you see here. It's accessing programs. It can access up to uh, 50 programs, um, the entire memory of the device, and the tuner activation and tuner bypass. That's all it can do. It can't do anything else. So again, um, all you need to make this work is a power supply with enough milliamps, our USB host adapter, and a suitable USB cable. Um, this will send out commands to the MS70CDR, the MS50G, which is the silver one for guitar, and the MS60B, which is the um, red one for bass. It does not support the MS100BT because that does not have a USB port. It has Bluetooth only, and there's no way for us to get in and talk to it. If you've got a device that has USB MIDI and you'd like us to try to write some support for it, uh, please post in the comments below. If you've got any questions on how this all works, post them down there too. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more Quick Tips videos like this, uh, please subscribe. Follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.